here is scholars have a look at these sentences sentence number 1 reads newton was a scientist second nanital is a pleasant city third a fish can swim and sentence number 4 is his courage won him honor have a look at the first sentence in this sentence newton is a word that stands for a person i mean newton is a person okay like twice scientist is a word stands for a person in the second sentence nanithal for place city for place city is a place fish thing courage thing owner things so these underlined words stand for person i mean newton scientist stand for person nanital city for place fish create and owner for things so we can say words that stand for person place and thing are called now very simple easy it's very easy to understand what a noun is in a very simple and lucid language we can say all the naming words are called in now words that stand for person thing or place let me tell you a uh, one interrogative word with which you would be able to find out noun it can be applied in most of the cases not in many for example and that is what let me tell you what what for example take the second sentence nanital is a pleasant city what is a pleasant city what is a pleasant city you would find your answer nanital a fish can swim what can swim fish his courage won him honor what won him honor courage is it it the this word this interrogative this interrogative word what can be applied to find out now in most of the sentences but it can't be applied in all the sentences are you getting let me tell you once again in the sentence first newton and scientist are noun nanital and city are noun fish noun courage owner noun so these are the words that stand for person place and thing are you getting are you familiar with the noun coming next we are going to discuss kinds of noun don't go anywhere stay with me we are going to have kinds of now